Howdy folks, it is Lanso90 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. Where we're going to the moon for the first time with our space probe. Not manned yet, because we do have like life support mods and such, so manned is a little trickier. I don't know how long. Oh, I made burn. Yeah, I forgot that that even existed. So what we want to do is wait for like 20 seconds burn 20 20 seconds before and 20 seconds after to get a roughly 40 second burn time in in the most effective manner Fashion trans lunar injection maneuver. Gotta love it. I hate the stupid purple box thing, man, but I think the benefit from the visual enhancements mods outweighs the little box, don't you? What I normally do in this sort of situation is then I set up like a mid-course correction change. So we'll see what we need to do. I went too fast. Something like that. to that point, please. We should be in space high above Kerbin now, so we should have new data. There you go. See how our testing out our spacecraft with Kerbin science before we get to the moon. Always a good idea in real life, too. I do need, like, more ambient light. I'm scared of pressing anything, though. <laughs> so let's overwrite our quick save here. YouTube. I need to press Alt-Z to bring up my game filters. I'm going to add detail. Turn off bloom. Everything else should be fine. But that, that lets me see into the dark a little better. I can get, like, this thing. Temperature scan while high over carbon, measuring the temperature of space appears to be quite impossible. There is no matter around to either be hot or cold, except the spacecraft and the thermometer itself. This is probably going to give the R&D guys something to think about for a while. Boop, boop, beep. Lock pressure data. It's going to raise zero as if it were in a vacuum. I think we realize that space is kind of the same everywhere. More or less. Or peer. Do, 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 do. Here. All right. So this is just a... Ooh. We are very responsive now. I think we still have that SAS module in here. Okay. Now, one thing you can do if you have to do really fine maneuvers like this is now that our vehicle is very light and even pretty low on fuel even, put a thrust limiter on. That way I won't over overburn the engines quite as much. Yeah, burn time one second. Although I think you, if you change your thrust thing, it uh, changes what that might be. Yeah. Oop. 
Here we go. Stage destroyed. No. Oh, I don't think I put parachutes on that. That's okay. It's fine. There's still a lot of fuel in you. It's okay. We can use it. It seems far away for this to work. I'm missing something. I feel like I may have made a mistake. How are we getting caught in the, by the moon? What? That's not right. What? Seriously? That's what it... I really wish it would have told me that. That, that must be new. That must be a new way that it can figure out when you're going to get somewhere, but that's not right. <laughs> that's uh, not what I intended to do. I guess it'll work. It's just uh, kind of a bunch of nonsense. Wait, what the... F But on Earth? <laughs> what the frick? I've never... What the frick? This isn't even like a trajectory issue. What the frick? What the F? Like, why did my periaps get fricked? I thought we were like burning in some weird directions, but I was just like, I guess it knows better than me because maneuver nodes work. <laughs> what the? Fuck? What the? Fuck? What the? Fuck? Never how this game works. Frick. I thought it was weird. I was just like, maybe they changed the physics of the game a bit, but. All right, well, we got to do a prograde burn here. We're going to crash into Kerbin, apparently. The other thing that gives me is like a friggin' crash into Kerman now all of a sudden? What the frick? <laughs> Not even sure how something we would have done would have made us crash into Kerman either. It doesn't make any sense. Let's see, we already transmit this stuff. I 
magnetometer, yes, apparently, but... Jeez, we'll, we'll fix the encounter once we get to our midpoint again. Oh, there we go. Wow. That was... Uh, That was something else. There's still like two carry apps numbers there, which is not right either, but place this time. Oh my god. Never seen anything like this in all my years. Are these up here even with without flight engineer? I don't know. Literally, I don't really use this for anything other than periaps and apple apps. There. there we go. Alright. Time for science. We should rotate the spacecraft, though. a minute for it to give me controls there, which was kind of scary. But Ooh, we have to be careful though, we might get a radio blackout with her with a curb in there. Okay. So should have new magnetometer data. Magnetometer span while in space high over the MUN. A weak magnetic field in the case the MUN may have once contained molten iron core. Very schnazzy. Blah, temperature. Temperature scan high over the MUN. Measuring temperature space. Blah, blah, blah. Log pressure data. Atmospheric pressure scan high over the MUN. It's zero as if we're in space. Oh boy. The fun part. Descending towards the moon. Incredibly hospids. Only thing I'm concerned about is radio blackout, which is gonna. gonna happen soon so I'm gonna slow down see what kind of maneuver we need to s the problem is it's a little difficult when you're we oops crap crap baskets Because it would be best to burn at periaps, but if we wait till periaps, we're going to be out of communications range. So we just got to do it like this. Trying to get it to like 20,000. There we go. Should, 
Should have enough Delta V to do this. All right, 14 second burn. So at seven seconds, we'll start, start the burn. Need to look up the hotkey for auto accelerating to max thrust and minimum thrust. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we got. Actually, you know what? We probably would have had power there, but eh. This works, and in fact, we still have more Delta V than we needed. <laughs> Surprisingly enough. Hey, you know what? I should have checked those contracts. Let's go. Let's go check our contracts because it said we completed a contract. So I don't know if we were just supposed to get into orbit of the Mun, and if there might be a land on the Mun mission here. Wow, oh, this one's orbital rendezvous, which is unbelievably difficult. I think we're gonna have to upgrade the building here because there's a lot of good contracts here. Surface outposts on the mud. Jeez. Which magnetic field survey is there? Ferry Kerbins. Position of satellite. Specific orbits. Rigu, material studies, magnetometer, of a minimus. Sure. Oh, actually, we have upgraded this once. Never mind. Covered scientific data from the space around Kerbin. Sure. Build an outpost on the Mun. I think that's actually doable. Build an orbital station around Kerbal. That's not going to be, not going to be feasible with our life support and everything. It's a pretty high altitude satellite, so I don't know about them either. We'll fight around Kerbin, suborbital we'll fight around Kerbin. It might be difficult without a larger space pod, but we'll see. I'm going to leave those for now. Let's go back to our space probe here that's in a little bit of a precarious situation anyway now nah, it's in a stable orbit it would be fine it's just we want to make this burn before uh oh, we might be in our control outage because i can't control it Man state partial control. I don't really know what that means because I can't control it at all right now. Man state operational. There you go. Uh, oh, I actually need to burn here now that I think about it it'd be well it'd slow down our descent if I could do it this so we probably should burn here because yes I can burn up here and then we have a very fast encounter well maybe not I don't know 
Might as well burn here a little bit anyway, because we have the fuel. Oh, actually, we have enough fuel that we could probably just uh, land right here right now if we wanted to. But we need to land on this side of the moon so we can transmit back to Kerbin. Can't go too far off because we need to be landing in sunlight too, so probably be landing. Suppose this crater's fine. Let's see. Which way can I burn? Burn down. Try to land a little bit more in the middle here. There we go. All right. Ooh, baby. We are very low. <laughs> oh, look at that shot, though. Absolutely stunning. Okay. Just wish this friggin' purple thing. <laughs> really in the way too. Can I make you my focus? How do I do that? Control from here. There's a way to like focus on a specific part, but I don't remember what it is. Oh god. I guess I can do that, but eh, it's not what I meant to do. There we go. Jeez. Calculating recorded temperature from the environment. And our. Let's reset our camera here. <laughs> Turns out that purple thing can be annoying if it's in just the right spot. Man, it went away and then it came back. Like you focus on your center of mass, but we don't want to be focused on our center of mass right now. God, actually, I might not want to go into the thing at all. I'm looking at how dark it is down there. At least not far, because... Wasn't really expecting to have this bottom stage for so long, but I'll take it. See, so yeah, I'm doing a bit of an emergency change of plans on our landing position. All right, you have zero meters per second left in you. Goodbye. still have control of you. Don't tell me you're not actually a decoupler. <laughs> um. God. You're gonna get 
tossed in a freaking... I don't know if I can fix this in time. Nope, it's better just to land in some shadow and uh, hope for the best here. Can't see the ground, man. We're out of fuel. After all of that, that wasn't a decoupler. They used to be decouplers. Oh my god, it made it. <laughs> it's in a friggin' pit, so it's not gonna be long for this world, but... Um... Did make it. Stupid thing was not a decoupler. I'm so angry. It used to be a decoupler. Okay, we didn't bring the big boy, but we have this thing. There we go. More pressure data. The same thing is doing the same thing multiple times, expecting a different result. If you check the atmospheric pressure again anyways. And yet it's still worth science points. Actually getting a trickle, no, we got a trickle loss of power. We're, we're landed on our SAS, not our landing gear. Uh, well. It landed. It has successfully landed. It's dead, because there's no power. It might be a while before the sun's on the side of the, the mun again. But it landed. <laughs> it, uh, it didn't detach where it was supposed to. But it landed. So we're going to... I consider this an absolute win. <laughs> we're all out of time for today. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did... Or hit the like button, keep the conversation going in the comments, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time, hope you have a good day.